Today we're going to talk about electromagnetism and I have a nail, just a regular nail, and when I put it by the bits of iron it doesn't do anything. However, if I wrap it in a wire, you notice that the wire is coiled around, and then I hook it up to a battery, the two ends, you'll notice that I am able to pick up some bits of iron. And I am able to pick up a paper clip. And when I unhook it, it drops those. So what happens is you're sending the electrons through the coil. You remember we talked about the electrons moving. And it creates this electric field through the magnet and it allows it to be turned on like a magnet. The nice thing about electromagnetism is that they can be turned on and off. So you remember when we were playing with the magnets and the little bits of iron, you had to peel all the little bits of iron off of the magnet. Well here, when you have an electromagnet, it's very useful because you can make very large magnets as well to pick up scrap metal, maybe at a junkyard, and then move it and then turn the magnet off and it'll let go of it. You'll recall seeing these compasses set up this way when we talked about magnetism and the non-contact force that a magnet puts out. Well, I'm also going to show you what happens when we put this nail that is wrapped in wire inside of this area. So right now I set it in here and you'll notice it does nothing. It's just a nail wrapped in a coil. When we talk about electromagnetism, let's see what happens when I attach the nail to a battery. So I gotta to touch both ends. On the nail. Well, that was a mess. So we touch both ends here, and as I bring it in, you'll see that I can turn the compass needles just as we did with the magnet. So right now that magnet is turned on and the same thing happens when I flip it around you watch these down at this end and turn it back here and then when I disconnect it, they all go back to pointing to the north. 